Reddit. How did you lose your virginity? Girlfriend at the time. I was staying at her house for her little brother's confirmation in a spare bedroom. She walked into the bedroom wearing a toweling robe. She took off the robe and got into bed with me. There was a charity thing on the telly. Childline. 1988. And I lost my virginity to Scottish band Wet 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 singing a cover version of with a little help from my friends. Originally by the Beatles. I'm old. I was 23 and I was in rare form. I went to a punk rock show that my friend invited me to. We were supposed to meet inside the venue but he was running late. So to kill some time I thought I should talk to some people. This girl sits next to me. I say hi. Turns out we have some things in common and we have a great night. I give her a ride home. Get her number and see her two days later at her house party at her house to celebrate her birthday. The party is going great. I just spent the night talking to her friends and not her so much. On my way out, she invites me up to her room to show me some pictures. I knew then it was going to happen and it did. The whole story was quick and unexpected. Very awkwardly with my girlfriend my freshman year of college. She broke up with me a week later the night before my chem final. I took solace in the fact that she failed and I got an A. Awkward teenage me thought inviting a girl over to play Kingdom Hearts was innocent. She had other plans. I was 22. She was 19. In college. Both virgins. Neither of us was prepared for me having an impossible time coming. I distinctly recall her bouncing on my penis at one point doing a. We eventually gave up and got Chinese food. Since we'd sort of figured it'd be closer to 2 thrusts and less than 30 seconds awkward first time sex than duck for an hour and still can't come awkward first time sex in the dining hall had closed in the meantime. Front seat of my mother's station wagon behind an elementary school in a Canadian February. Three days ago, in a hotel room with my long distance love that I'm visiting for this Thanksgiving week. My family was taking our annual summer trip to the lake. I was like mom and dad. Please let me bring my boyfriend. They were like okay but you're not allowed to have sex with him while we're there and he's sleeping in another room. I was like you guys. Don't even worry. We've never even had sex. Which was true. So they let me bring my boyfriend to the lake under these conditions. Soon as we got to the lake. I was like hey boyfriend. Let's go on a hike. I took him into the woods and we had sex as soon as we were out of my parents sight. In my boyfriend's house. Neither of us finished. Took about 2 hours on and off. We talked about dinosaurs and yeast infections. Afterwards I took a nap and he packed a picnic. And we walked to the park to people watch 10 out of 10 would lose virginity again. To a very tall woman in a bush outside her parents house. I was 17. We'd been dating 2 years. Lost it in a kind of public place. Lasted about 10 seconds. Maybe. He finished. I didn't. I did. However. Bleed through my pants and had to use his jacket to cover it. 3 minutes later he took his jacket back because he didn't like not wearing one and I got to spend the rest of the day sporting jeans with my virgin blood on them. I wouldn't go through that again in a million years. I texted a girl I met the day before. Would you like to have some sex she did. On the 8th hole of a putt putt golf course. Me and my then gf had had a bit too much to drink. At 15. To a guy I thought would kill himself if I didn't. I wish I had a funnier story to tell. The act was awful. He was very much a two pump pony when we finished and went downstairs he threw the trim condom wrapper at his mate in celebration. His friend laughed because it was trim. I bewilderingly laughed along with no clue. Poor guy's ego must have been batted. Pretty awkwardly. The actual act went down well but my foreskin got pulled back way further back than I was accustomed to. So I pulled out went to the toilet. Looked at the little ducker and though yeah I'm a man now. The ducking air is stinging the duck out of my c**k but this is what manliness must feel like. Put on my boxers. Agony. We spent the night together and was so hard to keep the wincing and flinching to myself. Next day we went out. My foreskin still pulled way too far back. Duck I felt like I was inside out and the air just so painful. But then part of me thought yeah this is what it's like to cross over the threshold into manhood. I need to suck it up. Anyway we walked around the shops with me bent double in agony. Had to tell her what happened and head to A&E to get sorted out. 
she stayed outside the curtain while I screamed in agony, came walling out of there though 10 feet tall. Felt a million times better after the doc shoved the mouse back in the house and also was no longer virgin. Awesome. Had a pizza hut to celebrate. Girl I met at a fair over the summer when I was 15 or 16. Dated for most of the summer. Spent most days together. Then she spent a week at her cabin so we were away from each other longer than we ever had been after meeting. She came back. We had some of the worst sex you could possibly imagine. As we were heading down the stairs to grab the remainder of our clothes, my parents walked in. We hid downstairs till they went to bed then she left. I then panicked and broke up with her. I obviously wasn't mature enough to deal with the aftermath of sex. It's over a decade later and I still feel bad about it. She was a good girl and didn't deserve that kind of treatment. Her best friend still blames me, even though she forgave me. I don't really blame her friend. Kind of just slipped in when cuddling naked, then decided to keep going. It was a beautiful sunny afternoon in early September. We lied down for hours afterwards talking. Quite nice. Being young was fun. Obligatory. Your mother. In all seriousness. My mate's 40 year old mum when I was 18. No my mate was not stifler. Yes I was drunk. Yes it was consensual as we continued at it for a week after. I met the high school freshman girl from another town when I was in 8th grade. One of my buddy's older brothers had just turned 16 and agreed to go pick her up for me one night. We came back and drank a bottle of oven smoked a blunt then I ducked her on the guest bed. She was way more experienced than me and I remember her telling me to keep my knees down when she was on top. Which is advice I've kept through the years. Here we go. Heads up on mobile so I apologize in advance. Junior year of high school. I had terrible luck with talking to girls. I was pretty awkward. All my friends had lost their virginity and I hadn't so it was at the back of my mind a lot. Anyways I had this dating app and I got a message from a girl. She's kind of cute and we talk for a little bit then she says hey so I normally wouldn't do this but you're cute and I'm cute. And I have a birthday party later and I want you to come with me. I had no plans for the night so I say duck it let's do it. So I dress up semi formal and she shows up in a Cadillac. I'm poor. Or was more so at the time. And picks me up. And oh. Another thing I'm white she's black. No big deal I knew beforehand. And I'll date anybody of any race I don't judge on that. If you're a cool person and don't care if you date a white guy I'm game. Anyways we get to this party and it's at this giant building downtown with chocolate fountains and a DJ and a dance floor. Oh and I was the only white person there with zero rhythm so I stuck out like a sore thumb. But I was in a I don't give a duck mood so I danced with her anyways. And she seemed to be genuinely into me which was pretty nice. After the party we go to the park to walk around and one thing led to another and we had sex in her car. And she had been so nice I made sure to make sure she was happy. I never thought I was that big but boy she made me feel like I was a damn stud. Afterwards she was all giddy and happy and it did loads for my self confidence. Ended up dating her for a while but broke up but that girl did loads for my self confidence. So yeah that's how I lost my virginity. Actually, mine was really nice. I had a GF before for about a year and then we had broken up for about half a year. We still sort of talked, but nothing really. Then suddenly, on Valentine's Day, I came home, still lived with my parents, and my mom says, there's someone for you upstairs with a grin. I'm quite confused, but walked to my room. Turns out my ex was there and just knocked on the door, talked to my mom, and she let her in. Then we had a really fun night talking and making out and eventually we had sex, which I did not see coming at all. We got back together and had a really nice relationship for another year. TL. DR. Got winged by my mom. I was 17. Working at a pizza chain as a cook. Became friends with a waitress and we hit it off. Went over to her place to hang out one night. Watch some Dexter play some vids. Turns out she was newly single and her parents were out of town. How convenient. We were heading to bed and she asked if I wanted to join her in her parents room since there was a TV. On that cold November night I lost my virginity in the girl's parents bed. 
Banged like rabbits for the next 6 months ha ha. My first girlfriend was a lifeguard and we were both virgins at 17. Frequently I would pick her up from work at the YMCA style athletic tennis pool facility she worked at around 8 to 9 pm and help her lock up. One night I forgot to lock one of the doors. After a movie at the theater across the street, I pop my trunk and grab some towels. Come on let's go skinny dipping. A couple minutes of hair twirling and excuses later, we sneak under the fence, through the door, and skinny dip the pool she guards by day. Quite amazing. I ate her out on the side of the pool and laid her down on a budgie board type thing on the pool deck. 10 out of 10.